us, here's more from the Rumblers. Tommy and the band debut a new song, Play Your Music, which should appear on the next Rumblers album. Good, straightforward rock and roll from one of the best front men ever to spring from Philadelphia. Now, Cindy continues her conversation with Tommy and the band. We'll hear about Tommy's musical influences over the years. Some people kind of tend to label music and they call the Rumblers sound uh, rockabilly. How do you feel about labels on music? Well, I don't know how I feel about labels on music. I mean, I think, I, don't, I wouldn't know what to call us, you know? I certainly wouldn't call us rockabilly. It's funny, people have called us that, and as far as I'm concerned, we've never done a rockabilly song in our entire career. Actually, we kind of do one now, Seven Nights to Rock, a Nick Lowe song once in a while. But we never did like a Gene Vincent or like an Elvis, dunka 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 dunka. You know, we never... We've done Chuck Berry, we've done Eddie Cochran, like, come on, everybody. But never a real rockabilly song, you know? I guess it must be, like, my hair or, like, my guitar or the fact that we used to be three-piece or the fact that we're roots. But then again, I am a, uh, you know, I'm, like, picky about names and stuff. You know, I know what rockabilly is. To me, rockabilly is uh, Johnny Burnett, Gene Vincent, you know. Uh -huh. uh, not Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry's rock and roll. But anyway, labels are drag. Don't understand what the hell is wrong with letting a boy just play a song. But I gotta change him, make up his face, take away the beauty, put him out of place. Play music's a cool song because it's a statement about the music business. You know what I mean? There's so many trappings, you know, from money to vanity to fame to pressure that, you know, what it all comes down to is you and your guitar, man, you know what I mean? Or you and your thing, or, you know? And uh, so that's what this song's about. It's called Play Your Music, and it's about, it's like a reminder that that's what it's all about. Mm. And that's one of my moves. walking down a secluded beach. What famous guitar player would you like to run into? Um, Edie Bacall. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that fun? <laughs> I just stole doing Okay. Oh, no, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. I yeah. think I'd like to meet him. Yeah. What would you ask him? I don't think I'd have the nerve to say a word to him. <laughs> but if we were going to talk... I don't think he goes to the beach anymore. <laughs> Uh, if we're going to, if we were, if I was going to talk to Chuck, I don't know why I'd ask. I would just try to, I would, I probably wouldn't ask him anything. I would probably just tell him that he's like one of my all-time favorites, and for a couple of years I listened to nothing but him, and I really, really just think he's a cool guy. So just to be around him for a couple of minutes would probably be enough. Who are some of your other tastes? Like, what would you put on if you went home tonight and felt like listening to some music? Um, I really like. Uh, always listen to a lot of blues, um, um, T-Birds, old stuff, or Stevie Ray, or uh, Otis Rush, B.B. King, or some jazz stuff, Charlie Parker or something, or The Stones, or, you know, I like The Replacements, new album, and um, uh, it's a little smattering.